Ba 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 
Amen. 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 In the wonderful name of Jesus, we bless the Lord for opening for us a door once again to come into his presence. Amen. Um, Amen. Invited Amen. to die. Uh, the Lord is with us. And the Lord has prepared a great stuff for us. Uh, we have heard him speak to us yesterday um, mightily, and we have been honored by God to be invited into his presence. Amen. Um, Amen. He spoke mightily, and he said we must move out of the religious corners and go and serve him in the seven mountains. Amen. Um, Amen. Hmm. Amen. Before we, we, we go to the word, there are just few declarations that I believe um, the Holy Spirit has laid in my heart uh, that I would like us to do. And then we and then after that, I'm just going to ask one person. Um, she's going to be the only one who's going to unmute and make the declarations after me. Everyone else is going to make the declarations, but we must not unmute. I'm doing this so that there is no problem of the network. And then after making all the after making the declarations, we will all unmute and pray in tongues just before we go to the word. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Okay. Um, or maybe Unol is, is not there. Can I ask Babunja Bulonzuza to open? um he's he's to unmute so that he can we can make declarations together while everyone else is making declarations with me um without unmuting hallelujah uh, we are going to make declarations and release ourselves from the hold of religious spirits in the mighty name of jesus um i release myself from the hold i release myself from the hold of any religious spirit of any religious spirits in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i command all spirit of religion i command all spirits of religion to lose their hold upon my life to lose their hold upon my life in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus. I destroy the power of every satanic arrest. I come again. I destroy the power. I destroy the power of every satanic arrest. 
of every satanic arrest in in my life in the name of Jesus in my life in the name of Jesus all satanic arresting agents all satanic arresting agents release me release me in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I command every spiritual contamination I command every spiritual contamination in my life in my life to receive cleansing by the blood of Jesus to receive cleansing by the blood of Jesus say Oh Lord liberate my spirit Oh Lord liberate my spirit to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. To follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. I confess that my spiritual pipe. I confess that my spiritual pipe. Shall be effective. Shall be effective. Throughout my life in the name of Jesus throughout my life in the name of Jesus I bind the strong men I bind the strong men behind my spiritual blindness and deafness behind my spiritual blindness and deafness and paralyze his operations in my life and paralyze his operations in my life in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Work in me what is pleasing to you. Work in me what is pleasing to you. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Let me become all that you have planned for me in Jesus' Let name. Let Hello? me become all that you've planned for me in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Let us Pro all unmute our minds. Baba <laughs> <laughs> 
Amen. 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 Who is working in us? What is pleasing to Him? Um, we are here to be made by the Lord to be what He wants us to be. Um, um, okay, let me introduce myself. I am Guguletu Fumba. I am saved and I love the Lord very much. It is an honor and a privilege for me to be the child of the Most High God. Amen. Um, more especially to be amongst um, the MSG group, the people that God is working um, so that they can be usable in the season. Amen. We are going to go straight to the word. We are going to ask Usiswe too, um, who is going to be our speaker for the day. Um, CC, please take your time. Uh, take your time. Don't panic. We are not rushing anywhere. Uh, you've got the whole hour 
to say everything that the Lord has laid in your heart. We are hungry for God. We are desperate for that. Um, you are welcome to take the podium and give us the heart of God. Amen. 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 Um, am I, if I could just in Jehovah's sister confirm a witty, am I audible? Can you yes, hear you me? Are. Yes, you are. Yes, you, you are. are. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you, sis. Um, yes. Okay. All right. Greeting to all the saints in the wonderful name of our beloved Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is greetings to our fathers, our mothers, our brothers, our sisters, um, in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My name is Asanda Mpengwe, um, it's my surname. Um, I was born in a small town called Matadiele, um, but I am currently based in Port Elizabeth. Um, but above all else, I am a born again child of God. I am washed by the blood of Jesus. I identify with God as my father, um, Jesus as my Lord and savior. Um, it is, I consider it an honor and a privilege <laughs> to be given, um, to be granted an opportunity by God and the MSG team to minister in such a platform. I do not take it lightly um the opportunity to I, I see it as an opportunity for growth um so we bless the lord jesus christ for that um okay i i as 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 we were praying before we jump into the word of god as we were praying i just had something in my heart that was pressed that says that what is happening in this conference for this week is a is an awakening. It's a great awakening accompanied by great empowering. So not only are we being awakened to the reality of what is happening, but also I firmly believe that the heavens have empowering after the awakening. If you remember when U when 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 Paul was in prison, the Bible says that the church prayed for his release, and then the Bible narrates that the, an angel of God came, woke him up. It woke him up from his sleep, and then after having woken him up, it then said, "In in English, he said he must clothe himself or he must get up. He must wear. So I believe that I pr I believe that as we are in this conference dealing with um, the green technologies and, and, and the shifting that the church needs to undergo, that as we are being awakened, there's also empowering that the heavens want to impart to the saints. Amen. Um, before we begin, I would like to just kindly request that I have someone whom who is going to read for me the Bible as we continue with the service. I don't really have a screen that I'm going to share. I'm just going to speak like this. Um, okay. So let us then start with the theme that we have been given by, 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 by um, the MSG team. The theme says that the necessity of church paradigm shift for ministry relevance in an era of green technologies. The necessity of church paradigm shift for ministry relevance in an era of green technologies. Okay, so I would like us to first define um, what I'm going to start with focusing on green technologies and then move from there. It says that um, green technologies, when I did, when I was trying to do my research, I found what green technology or the green part stands for. It is genetics, robotics, information, and nanotechnology. That is genetics robotics, information, and nanotechnology. That's what 
the green part, the G-R-I-N stands for, green technologies. Okay, so what is green technologies? Simply put, we can say that it is an accelerated advancement and advancement in technology. If you check the advancement from 15 years ago, not so long ago, from 15 years ago, it is not the same as it is now. It has now advanced to such a level that we are able to do things that in the past we were not able to do due to technology. Is technology bad? Not necessarily. However, there is an agenda by the enemy with this such accelerated advancement in technology. We did mention that one of the things that the green technology we find there is robotics. If, 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 if you check between now and the period of COVID-19, um, I have discovered that there has been a lot of advancement that has been done as far as technology is concerned. Um, if you specifically focus on the AI or otherwise known as artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence is defined as systems or machines that mimic human intelligence they mimic human intelligence to perform tasks that can improve themselves based on the information they collect. The artificial intelligence, the part that strikes me the most is that they mimic human intelligence. Technology has become so advanced that you find that even in, 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 in Let's take something simple, um, such as the, the reproduction of humans. When a woman is struggling to perhaps conceive, the doctors will then combine, that they, they are able to freeze, a, to freeze a woman's eggs and store them in a facility. And then they are also able to combine a seed and an egg from a woman by the use of advancement. There's also advancement in technology, even in the medical field, to be able to produce a child. Now, what I discovered is that with the advancement, they are looking now to combine the DNA of a human with the DNA of an animal together. What is the purpose of this thing? It is said that the purpose is so that humans will have no limitations by the use of technology. They will have no tech, they will have no limitations. So for example, if, if a human, if the body, <laughs> It, it, it gets tired. There are times when it will want to sleep. Not so long ago, I read an article that said that there's a child um, somewhere overseas, that there's a child that has been born. The child cannot feel pain. She does not need to sleep. When you, if, if, if you were to trace what happened to that child or how did that child come about, you might discover that there was an altering somewhere in the DNA, either of the mother or of the father. That is where we are headed or that is where we currently are. Now, how does this affect us? The question is, as the church, how is this a bad thing? If you remember when God gave the 10, not the 10 commandments per se, but when he was giving stipulations for the church in the book of Exodus. Yes, I believe it is the book of Exodus. He said that, no, Deuteronomy. He said that no man is to, no man or woman is to have intercourse with an animal. What was the reason for that? It is because when there is, allow me to say, when there is intercourse between two entities, usually a seed is produced. There's a reproduction that takes place. When God released that commandment, or when God forbid it that, it was, he was looking at a bigger picture because he knew that the kind of seed that would emerge from such would be ungodly. It would alter the perfect DNA that God created in humans. Now we would have two separate DNAs that, will, that would produce a corrupt DNA. One that does not identify with God in any manner. When you read the book, 
where Noah, it is said that we're in the days of Noah. It is said that they were giants oh, that, that, that were there. And then it is said that there were sons of God who saw the, the, the woman. And then the Bible, the Bible then says that they then came together with them. It was not a problem, much of a problem that the sons of God were on the earth, but it became a problem when they came together and then they started producing seeds that were ungodly, that had altered DNAs. Amen. Now, the question then again becomes, what is the problem? The problem is that God, when he created Adam in the Garden of Eden, he, the Bible says that he formed him from the dust. He builded his body from the dust. And then it proceeds to say that he breathed into his nostrils. So we can safely say that Adam contained within him the DNA not from God. Everything about him was about God, was from God. It originated from God. His DNA, everything, his blood, his organs, everything had a trace or a touch of God. Even though he had been formed from the dust of the earth, but everything about him had a hundred percent of his own, his own entire being. It was all God and no interruption from any other entity. If you also check the coming of Jesus, when he was born, when he took into a physical body, the Bible says that the angel said, came and said to, my, to, to, to Maria that you will give birth to a child. And then Maria then continues to ask, but how will this be since I know no man, since I do not have a man or have no interaction or intercourse with a man? The Bible says the angel told, told her that the Holy Spirit will come upon you. And then you will conceive. So in other words, the, it is said biologically speaking that a child usually takes the DNA of a father or the blood will take that, I uh, will take, for example, I, I carry my father's blood. If you, if, 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 you, if you want to compare DNAs, I'm going to compare to my father. So in other words, Jesus did not contain ordinary or altered DNA, but the Bible corrected what was corrupted in the beginning by letting the Holy Spirit be the one who is the seed for Jesus to be able to be born. So when Jesus was born, we then see that when he came into the earth and lived with his body that he lived in, he lived in a state where God had began correcting what was corrupted in the beginning. His DNA was not altered in any way. Mary did not need to meet with a, with a male in order to conceive a child, but the Holy Spirit came upon her, went and, 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 and penetrated her, her, her reproductive organs. By that, I mean the eggs. They too became, and then a child was produced. That's why the Bible says that, the, it says that that thing will be born, will be called a holy one because the DNA was not altered in any way. There was no interference from any ungodly being, but it was all once again, we see God once again having everything to do with, with, with Jesus's DNA. Now, the thing is, as the church, what is our role? <laughs> in this whole entire thing. What do we do in order to be able to, 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 to move or to be effective in what is already happening or what is already, yes, what is already underway, what is already, what is already happening? What do we do? First of all, I'd, before I go there, okay, I'd, I'd just like to, to, to point out that with this green technologies business or this green technologies thing, we did mention that it is the accelerated advancement in technology. Um, I don't, <laughs> I don't know, but as I was preparing, um, as you hear, as you, I believe, as you heard me mention um, certain things that there was an emphasis in 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 the area of immorality 
okay if you see as an example there's so much advancement in technology at the moment that even online you can order um i'm just going to say it as it is you can order sex dolls you find people who will order sex dolls now a, a, a normal human will then say there is nothing wrong with that it is just a doll they are literally created in in, in 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 a form of a human and then humans can buy these dolls and have intercourse with them this is all thanks to the advancement as we have said of technology now one might say but it is a doll what's the problem the problem is that there is a spirit behind that thing Technology opened doors for to make it possible for humans to engage in pornographic videos. But now they have it has been taken a step further that now you can physically have a doll next to you. Again, you will ask, what is the problem? The problem is that there is a spirit behind that seeks to, 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 to bind and to imprison humans that engage in these things. Please excuse me for a few seconds. I can see that I am becoming a bit dark. I'd like to just um, adjust my lighting just for a few seconds. Amen. Okay, am I still visible? I just have someone is that better now not on my side not on your side sis. you can't see me i can see you now you are visible Chandra Samguk. thank you because this is okay all right so as i was saying that um there's a spirit behind these things and i was using sex dolls as an ex as an example that there is a spirit behind that seeks to imprison um, the humans that engage in this thing. The, we said that the, 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 the end goal is to try and alter human DNA. This means that whenever a human engages in what God has forbidden, it then opens doors for the enemy to come in. Disobedience is not just a matter of, oh, we disobeyed God, but it is also a matter of opening gates for the enemy to come and do as he pleases in our lives. Now, what do we do when we find a person who has already found themselves in such things? Remember that with the green technologies, it has also, we have now got to, gotten to a point where there is, um, the, 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 there is a thing where chips are installed at the back of, 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 of the head of certain individuals, especially with high task teams, um, especially um, overseas, so much that they are thinking or their brain and even their DNA is also altered. Now, how do we then help the people who find themselves in such situations. I was grieved within my heart. I was grieved within my heart because I had something that said to me, we really need to change or we really need to shift because the current level that, the, that we are, that we are in as the church cannot be able to contend against the advancement that the enemy is doing. Is it because God is not powerful? No, God is all powerful. It's just that as the church, as someone likes to say that we are a sleeping giant. We do not realize the weapons that we have to our advantage. Such that you will find that even this, the, 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 there is such advancement in this area that even the kind of series that are being produced, we said we spoke about artificial intelligence here there are there's also what we call artificial insemination basically what happens is that it it, it it alters the reality of what you see in other words th there is such advancement that if it, it, 
operating in the spiritual, not in a godly manner, is being normalized. There's, 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 there's a series that I saw that was advertised. It is, it, is, it is titled Stranger Things. And basically there, people see things that are unseen. And it is quite a popular series. And then you might say, oh, but it's a fun series. But if you look behind, you will realize that demonic entities are being normalized. We, we, are, we are headed to a, to a place where such that even when children, they might encounter demonic entities, they will not be afraid because it, technologically speaking, it has been normalized. If you want people to grasp something, first you start by normalizing it. You make it normal. That, 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 that is how the enemy usually drives an agenda. It, you, you will hear activists saying that it is time that we normalized, that we, that we make it normal. That, that, that is how people are captured. So even with these things, the series that have been produced, the, 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 the things, the, the, the different, um, the, the, the different, <laughs> this may get me into trouble, but allow me to say, even when it comes to the altering of DNAs and the switching of things, the normalizing of, 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 of things that God that it does, did not normalize, that is why it will be easy for Asanda as a female to take hormones and then change and become a man tomorrow. Do you see, we call those that transgender, you see how that has been normalized in our society such that it is embraced, that even within the church, we now are wanting to, to, to compromise on what we believe in. The question becomes, how do we deliver such people? Are we going to just let them go and let them be or just we want to be accepting of everything such that we say that no, we understand Jesus loves us all as we are. Or are we going to take a stand and say that first of all, in the Bible, what we believe in, it does not approve of this. The second question then becomes, how do we deliver such people from such? When you assess the church that you are in, your local church, even you, do you think that the level that you are in, you have tapped into a dimension where you would be able to contend for the freedom of these people? When you assess, when you sit down and do an honest assessment, as I have mentioned before, it's not that God is not powerful. God is all powerful all wise and almighty everything is available to the arsenal of the believer the problem becomes that then becomes that we are not aware of the weapons that we have to our advantage that is why the bible says that my people are being destroyed because they lack in knowledge it's not that it's not that god does not have these things what if we don't know that we have these things we have become so comfortable in the normal and with the mediocre, such that if anyone dares to introduce us to the things or to the level that we are called for, we are very quick to dismiss that person. If I may please kindly have someone to read for us um, the book of Ephesians. We're going to camp in this book um, as, as, as we then try and find the solution to this um, problem that we have stated. May we please read the book of Ephesians. Um, may we please read chapter 6, verse 11. I'd appreciate it if we have, if I had have someone who would please read for me. Um, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11. Okay, I will read. Yes, yes. Okay, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11. Put on all God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. Please carry answers. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Because sis, Therefore, thank you so much. Okay, thank you, sis. And then, um, 
please while, while, while i while i try and explain the scripture that you've just read please um go to me to same book ephesians chapter 4 verses 8 ephesians chapter 4 verse 8 so where we have just read we read where paul speaks to the believers paul then says that um finally brethren put on the full armor of god and then he proceeds to say that for we do not contend against flesh and blood but then he says but we contend against the the powers of the unseen world if you check in the scripture i was blown away when i realized that paul was addressing three parts he says the powers of the unseen world the powers of this or the, 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 the dark powers of this present age. And then it proceeds to say principalities in the heavenly realms. Please um, note that these are three spheres. We have one under, uh, underground, where it is said that the powers of this unseen world. And then it continues to say that the, the, the dark powers of this present age, the earth, and then it says that the principalities in the heaven the spheres. Paul was trying to wake the believer up that where you wage war, you are to wage war in three different spheres. We have what we call the marine world under waters. We have what we call the marine world. We have dark evil forces in this present age in our in in, in 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 our earth and then you have what we call the heavenly spheres principalities that rule over them with the advancement of 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 of, of these technologies they do not just come the ideas because when they are presented to humans the enemy does not just come and see and say hey look it's evil no he comes he camouflages it as something that will be of assistance to humans he, he camouflages it as something that will make life better for the humans that is but he knows that that is why the bible says that he he acts as an angel of light it does not say that he comes with horns and an evil look at, no no he, he comes as an angel of light the, the the end goal is what is to deceive it is de it is deception when eve was deceived in the garden of eden the devil did not say hey why don't you just give over all your inheritance to me and everything just eat disobey god no he asked a question deceitfully cunningly that did god really say did, did he really say that if you eat from here you will die so even now with these technologies that when they are being introduced at first value they look like good things they will make our lives better they're entertaining for our children they will help us in combat in contending in combating so many things but the end goal is to capture the human it is to alter the dna of a human being where does the inspiration come from? I was once a diehard fan of the Avengers. I'm not sure, but we have young people here. I'm sure they probably know the Marvel's Avengers, your Iron Man, your, 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 your Captain America, and so forth. As I was watching, um, it includes aliens and everything else. As I was watching, I then had a thought in my mind, but where does the inspiration come from, though? Are you trying to tell me that someone just woke up one day and decided, hey, I'm going to create a beast that looks like this, like that. You ask yourself, you start asking questions. Where does the inspiration come from? The same manner that we receive inspiration from the kingdom of God. The enemy is also trying to advance his own army by providing inspiration for such things. That is why a person will, will, will have an idea of let me create a robotic or a sex doll or whatever. It comes from the realm of the spirit. Now, the Bible tells us that we are not to contend with the physical 
thing that we see, but we head straight for the source. That is where we go and we wage war. We don't go and bombard the facilities that are building these robotics or anything of that nature, but we head for where the, head, the spiritual headquarters, where they are. The Bible did not, did not provide us, or God did not provide us with hand grenades to go and bomb the, the, the research facilities that are sponsoring these programs. But the Bible provided us with weapons of mass destruction to go and wreak havoc where the origin lies. We are not called to, to, to fight with what we see. The Bible, when it says that we, we do not only contend with flesh, with flesh and blood, this does not only, um, is not, it's not only limited with your colleague who's not treating you well at work. Yes, it's fine, you can contend, but it is not only limited to that. God knew that mm. there's a bigger play of the enemy. There's, there, there's, mm. some, there's a bigger picture. It does not just end with your neighbor who does not treat you with respect and you're like, ah, this one is probably a witch, probably, but it does not just end there. When God says that we are contending with, with dark entities, with principalities, it's because he knew that in Christ Jesus I made my children able, oh, just so they are able to contend and conquer. Someone once said that, Notice how in the armor, we are not provided with anything to cover our backs. That's because we were never meant to run away from the war. We are meant to charge head on. The Bible says that, and, 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 and the, it, it, the gates shall not prevail. That means that the, 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 the enemy will try. When we speak of prevailing, that means you will try. You, 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 you will try to push to, to till you pull through. But the Bible says that the, 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 the gates of heaven, the, the, of, of Hades, sorry, they shall not prevail. That means that the church is meant to also push back strong and contend that you will not make it past. So I, I am here to sound an, an alarm of some kind that believer wake up. There is a place where we are called to wage war. There are certain things that we have accepted as the church and we are comfortable with. We are saying, oh, oh it is the Lord's doing. <laughs> you know, that, that, that statement usually, usually does something to me. We see bad things, horrible things happening. And we will say, no, it is the will of God. It is not the will of God. Half the things that we attribute to be the will of God are not the will of God. What he, the soldier that has been trusted by the heavens is asleep. He's saying, I am here to sound an alarm to act as that angel that rose Paul up when he was sleeping in prison. That wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. And, and, and whooping, put on something around your waist. There's a war that needs to be fought. It, God will not release a hand from heaven, a physical hand, and fight the enemies, but he will need a man to go and contend. Ooh, we are called to glide in the wings of the spirit and to go and possess, to set free the ones that have been held captive in regions of captivity. Even if it is in powerful marines underwater, we, we are called to go and bombard the gates of the enemy and come back with those who have been held captive. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. <laughs> that is the high standard that we have been called for. And unless we decide that, Father, enough is enough, unless we decide that, Father, enough is enough, we will not be able to put on what we need to put on. For example, I'll make a simple example because this is a simple example compared to what's waiting for us to contend against. You cannot accept that in your family, things must remain the same such that you, if, even you as a believer, you accept it. The difference between the, the suffering that your family goes through and you, the difference is that you go to church and you proclaim that you are saved. Otherwise, the suffering is the same. You cannot tell me that that is the will of God. 
it starts with those little things. I call it a little thing because there are bigger things that we need to conquer. We need to contend for nations. We need to reach a point where God can trust you, that Uasanda can stand on behalf of China and contend for all the evil that the enemy is, the havoc that the enemy is wreaking in that country. The Lord needs to trust you that while in your sleep, he can take you and transport you to headquarters where witches are meeting concerning China. And you go and you disrupt those meetings because of the one that you walk with inside of you. There's a certain language <laughs> that the heavens want to teach us when it comes to warfare. There's a certain, there's a twisting of the tongue that needs to happen because there, there is a certain language that we use, ooh, that we use in warfare. So the, the heavens really want, one of the things that the Lord will do as he empowers us, he will twist the manner in which we use our tongue. No longer will you speak the same way that others speak or other believers speak. But even in your prayer closet, there's a language, there's a heavenly language that, that, that the Lord wants to release. Even as I'm speaking right now, I believe that there are people that God wants to twist their tongues. He wants to give them a language of warfare. <laughs> there's a language, there's a normal language that we speak, but there's another one that we use in warfare, in advanced warfare. Okay, <laughs> let us, let us, let us wrap up. Sister, please read the Ephesians chapter 4 verse 8. That is why the scriptures say, the scriptures say, when he, when he ascended to the heights, he led a crowd of captives and gave gifts to his people. Okay, look back. Yes. Must I proceed? Yes, please. Notice that it says he ascended. This clearly means that Christ also descended to our lowly world. And the same one who descended is the one who ascended higher than all the heavens so that he might fill the entire universe with himself. Thank you. Thank you, sis. Um, this scripture says that Christ ascended on high. That's what some, some um, versions say. Just excuse me. It says that Christ ascended on high. And then he proceeds to say that if he ascended on high, that means that he also descended that means that there is no area that exists on earth that Christ did not touch on. And whatever Christ touched on, we can also touch on. Whether it is down, whether it is here, whether it is up, whatever area that Christ, remember the Bible says we are co-laborers with Christ. It does not mean that we are only we are co-laborers only in showing his character, his godly character, in being kind. Yes, that's a good thing. There's nothing wrong with that. It is what we are called for. But it also means that in being radical, in being a warrior, we are co-laborers with Christ. See, 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 see. We, we are called into partnership with Christ. That means whatever area that Christ wants to touch on. Here the Bible, it says that he filled himself with the entire universe. In the entire universe. Not only planet Earth. No. <laughs> the entire universe. He filled with himself. He filled himself with the entire. That means in the traces of the universe, everywhere, the stars, the sun, everywhere, you will find traces of Christ in them. Nati as believers, we are able to touch those places provided we rise to the occasion and get up as the Bible says and move with him as he moves. The Bible then says that as he did this, uh, um, our theme, it says that the necessity of church paradigm shift 
for ministry relevance in an era of green technologies. Now I'd like to, as we are closing, to focus on the part of the necessity of church paradigm shift for ministry relevance. What is happening in our time, the evil in our time, the advancement in our time is not a shock to God. God knew that such things would happen. There's a conference that we attended not so long ago where the speaker said that we are God's response to what's happening. We are God's, I usually, I, I used to say that I wish I was born in the 1800s. I feel like I was born in the wrong century. But I realized that no, 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 no such. God knew what he was doing when he brought me to live in this era. He knew what he was doing. He knew that when he brought to Asanda to this time, he knew that when he brought to Suskugu to this time, she had the grace, the capacity to be able to handle what the, 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 the battle that the enemy brings the church paradigm shift what does paradigm shift mean it means the change in mindset the change in the normal way of doing things in other words we need to 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 to, to move from a place of being comfortable we need to move from a, a place of, of, of struggling to drive out a demon out of a person, to we need to move to a place where, 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 where we are able to, to, to wage war as our Lord Jesus Christ did. That means that we need to move um, from a place, not just me, myself included, we need to move from a place where a single problem that Jesus would have handled within a matter of seconds, it takes us a year to handle it. We need to move from a place of, of, of that miracles, signs and wonders are a thing that maybe we experience once or twice in a year. We need to move to a place where miracles are a daily thing. We need to move to a place where if we see that there's a girl maybe who has been captured by the kingdom of darkness, it is safe to say, no, take that girl to Suskuku. It's fine, Suskuku will handle it. She, she, she has been capacitated. She can handle it. The grace upon her life, she acknowledges the weapons that are available to her as a believer. So that is what shifting means. Relevance of the ministry gifts. We need to take note that with the ministry gifts, when the Bible says in the scripture that we've just read, that when God released the ministry gifts, it, it, it speaks about Jesus descending and then going up on high and then filling himself with the entire universe. And then right after that, it says, he then gave to the church apostles, prophets, teachers, pastors, and evangelists. He gave them, he then gave. It is not a coincidence. It is not a typing error that when God, when the Bible speaks of Christ attending to these three spheres that we've mentioned, that he then releases the ministry gifts. He knew that he was no longer going to be in this earth in the physical body that is. But to the church, he then released the ministry gifts. I am here to say that those who are called to the fivefold ministry, it is time that you take your, your office or your position seriously. Because one of the SNO, because one of the weapons that God is using to wage war, it is the ministry gifts, the fivefold ministers. Remember, the fivefold ministers, they equip the saints. Their duty is to equip us as the saints. Without them being functional, the saints cannot be equipped. Up until they rise and take their position, as the warriors that God has called them to be in their respective offices, the saints will be limited. They will not be equipped. I just, the duty of equipping the saints, Christ took it and put it upon the fivefold ministers. He gave them, he then gave the church. 
He gave some to be apostles. This is a this is a call for the apostles to rise. He then gave some to be prophets. This is a call for the prophets of the house of the church to rise. He then gave some to be pastors. This is a call for the pastors to rise. He then gave some to be evangelists. It is a call for the evangelists to rise. He then gave some to be teachers. This is the call for the teachers to rise. Why? Because in this intense battle that we are in, they need to take their stand to equip the saints and release them for the work of ministry. The only way that the saints will be able to move is when the fivefold ministers have taken the time to equip the saints, to release them, to go and do the work that they are called to do. The saints cannot move on their own. I'll do an example. I was shocked when I came to the, to the realization that scriptures say in the, in the book of, 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 of Corinthians, chapter, is it chapter 14, it says that for the spirit of the prophets <laughs> is subject to the prophets. Oh, shock. What do you mean? Spirit of, for the spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophets. That means that when you are called for a certain office, this is for the fivefold ministers, they are not any better than the other saints. Would they have been given more responsibility by God? That's why the Bible says that to whom much is given, much will be required. So I was trying to say, to, to, to learn that there are certain things there are certain mysteries that are available to the prophets of, 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 of the church of the last days. There are certain things that they can tap into. There are certain things that apostles are allowed to tap into. There are certain mysteries. There are certain levels of authority that they are called to tap into. As we are closing, I would like to just shine spotlight on the prophetic office that we need to really pray for this office, that the Lord raises true, authentic, fully operational prophets. Because my generation, not that there's anything wrong with that, is a generation that is very quick to give out these titles to people. But when you check the functioning, there's not much functioning going on. So we need to intercede, to groan with the Holy Spirit assisting us that Lord raised authentic prophets who will be able, oh Lord, who will be able to take their stand against this ongoing intense battle. Someone once said that the prophetic is diagnostic. We don't need to struggle that much. Some, we, we might say that, oh, we know that there's something wrong, but we are not sure what's wrong. But prophetic people will tell you, no, what's wrong is A, B, and C. It is diagnostic. When you go to the medical field, before a person is treated for an illness that they have, the doctors will tell you that they first need to do a diagnosis. If I go to the doctor and I say that I have a headache, it has been going on for months, they might give me something to treat the symptom, but they will want to go to the root cause. What is the, what is the cause of this headache of yours? What's causing the headache to be painful? So that is what the prophetic does. It goes straight to the root, find what the problem is. That is why it is important that even in the deliverance ministry, we have prophetic people that we pray for prophetic grace so that we may be able to know just exactly what are we dealing with. Sometimes you will say that so and so cannot handle themselves in a godly manner. They are immoral. But the prophetic will assist you but through the word of knowledge will assist you to identify that. No, the problem is this. In this person's bloodline, there is a gene of immorality. That is why they are struggling. Instead of maybe bombarding the person with teachings, trying to teach them, they will not really help that person. Up until we dive straight into the source and deal with the problem. Same manner when the person is not, when a person in life is not progressive, we might be saying, why are you not applying? Are you not, are you not, don't you want to progress in life? But the prophetic will tell you, no, 
this person, there are things I want. I have somewhere in the region of captivity under water. Therefore, we need someone who will go and bombard the gates of the enemy and come back with the things of this believer. It is diagnostic in that sense. Prophets are able to tell us with time what season we are in. They are able to, 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 to tell us which direction the church should go. They are able to remember that even in the olden days that the, 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 the Bible says that whenever there was a king who had a problem, they would ask, is there no prophet in here that, that, that we might go and inquire of the Lord? Uh, uh, yes. there, there are certain things that they are able to access without difficulty. We might stretch our heads wondering what do we do, but the Lord has granted them grace to be able to be able to 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 access mean to access mysteries to be able to solve the current problem that we are faced with i am not sure if oh, lord is, is, is still around um that i would like to request it is laid in my heart so i'll just do as it is laid in my heart um i'm not sure if that is still Okay, that may I kindly please request that you make a, self, a special prayer for every person that has been called into the prophetic office. Um, I believe that there's a certain grace, there are garments that the Lord seeks to release upon these people. And <laughs> as I was preparing, you were the one laid in my heart that you be the one who does this prayer. May the Lord God bless, may the Lord bless you, saints, in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Uh, um, bless the Lord for this wonderful, powerful, wonderful teaching and preaching of His way. I strongly believe that the reason the Lord uh, directed to me was not. That I was the one who was going to actually lead uh, in this holy uh, And uh, she was saying, except that uh, he knew that I would know who to call and uh, do that ministry. Uh, Pastor Hart, can you please lead us? so that they could be released to the fields of the Philistines. 
let that take place tonight let the fire of the holy ghost ma roshele bosanda rakashikata libra sante kalabasanda labasika this ministry is of a great magnitude we need these diagnostic ministers to be released tonight to be able to minister holistically to this dying world and the church that has become the victim of the enemy in jesus name lord my god my god activate their spiritual senses activate their gifts that are part of their gift mix as they minister upgrade them in revelation amande kola kasha katir kasha libo kota la baseke da rabasika morika lebo santa rabasika my god my god tonight release their metals and clothe them in their inheritance including their weapons ma prosente la basica tali mosanta robo cosheke tele mosanta la basica oh father god thank you so much it's done we seal it with the blood of jesus christ but god does is that just let no man or not human entity just in jesus mighty name thank you lord let's unmute and we all thank god for his word and we pray that we Ba 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 
The Bible says when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Lord raises the standard against the enemy. Um, the Lord is raising us to stand for him. Um, we are not going to be amongst the people. Uh, when these things that happen, we say, um, no, we are not going to be amongst those, but we are the ones that are going to roll. We are the ones that are going to cause havoc in the camp of the enemy and stand for God. Amen. Um, for sharing the heart of God um, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We are going to go to the activations. We are going to move to the activations. Hallelujah. We are going to ask that um, we all open our videos. Um, I believe we, we are all um, expecting to be. Activated. I believe we all want to, to, to receive that message from the Lord. And I pray that those that the Lord want to activate must not run away uh, so that they can give us our messages from the Lord. Amen. So our activation is going to, to go like this. We are going, I'm going to just say our activation and then we are going to pray. 
and the people that will activate uh, will lift up their hands, um, at least five people. And if they don't, I will have to, to select from anybody from the list. Amen. So our activation will go like this. You are going to, to receive a word from the Lord. Network is giving me trouble, but our activation is going to go like this. Um, you are going to receive a, a, a word, just one word from the Lord, and you are going to release um, that that prophet prophetic word to, to to that person. So the word that you are going to receive from the Lord, um, you are going to launch from that word, and um, and then you will flow and say what God is saying. You must say. So you're just going to pray that the Lord may give you a word for someone. Um, for example, it could be it could be a word like um, grace. It could be a word like mercy. It could be a word like power. For example, you might get uh, the word that says power, and then you are going to say, um, "I believe." Okay, my 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 daughter, who, who I believe. Uh, my power is available to you. Don't be afraid to, to walk in my power. You will see my miracles and my breakthroughs in the days to come. Amen. So just receive uh, that word and the Holy Spirit will help you to expand, to, 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 to release a message to someone. Amen. Can we all unmute and pray uh, for our activation? You're just going to activate two people. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Um, can I see by the show of hands though?
mistake the ones that have already lifted up their hands and then you'll pick your uh, by yourself or social media at the end. Okay, Shalom says, uh, uh, Richie says, uh, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, Mina, I received, uh, I received an observation for O Sister Esmeralda Melanchius. Uh, uh, my sister, I uh, believe the Lord uh, wants to intensify, you know, all my visions and dreams. I received the, the word visions concerning you when I was praying, and then I, uh, I saw your name there, and I believe the Lord wants to use you greatly uh, to communicate the state of the church and also to reveal to you things that are happening in people's lives and uh, what I believe the Lord wants you to pay more attention even to uh, prophetic dreams and you even write to an extent of writing them down because there's a lot that the Lord will be communicating with you. So you just need to be paying more and more attention. Uh, visions will also be, or even during the, the, the course of the day, you'll be seeing visions and it will go to an extent that uh, you will think sometimes it's just a thought, but it will be the Lord communicating. Uh, sometimes some things will happen as if it's just a thought to you but as that happens you must grasp it and then uh, take it further to the Holy Spirit because he'll break it further down and direct you as to what that he want to be done at that point in time and your ministry is going to go beyond from it's not only going to be for the church also it's going to go to the extent of being a uh, very intimate to individuals as to what people are going through uh, the Lord will reveal it as also you depend uh, you go deeper in intercession the Lord is going to is giving you that grace and uh, so I was says I believe God wants to uh, use you furthermore in that regard Amen Could you please pray for her Budi? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are praying for the four sisters, Esmeralda, Karuhanta, Ena, Astitali, Pata, Liba, Katala, Bahesenta, Ila, Mahinea, Labakata, Baruta, Tindeli, Beasi, Eteke, Pata, Murite, Tenta, Ali, Tantaya, Kamasi, Tereke, Buhasi, Nishiete, Kenema, Tarutan, Tari, Badiri, Beata, Kaman, Toto, Atika, Basiete, Nebreke, Teke, Sete, Ketali, Ataka, Basota, Tati, Mahasa, Itan, Dali, Kutari Patari Ente Tete Ketia Takati Kuteri Bita Dar Postandali Asiete Ele Heseman Takapotan Tarakata Isikitete Kepan Tarokusu In Takati Si Takamato Koko Atikere Keten Dar Kuteri Bahati Kalusha Labro Takando Sele Anta Itikita Tari Postia In Jesus Mighty Name of Amen 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 Thank you very much, Njabulo. Um, Mapasi, where you can come in, sis. Mama, oh, can you sis Mapasi? Please unmute. Maybe her head was not up, I don't know. Mama Pasiwe, are you coming in? Okay. Dipela siya ku mamu kudne sibia.
Is there any other person who can who can do the activation for us, saints? My hand is up, says I I believe I I receive a word for Sister Zoleva Zoane. And and the word that I received was bright. I believe that the word of the Lord to Sister Zolega is that her way will be bright and that the word that she receives from the Lord she must take serious because it is a light for her pathway. But as an intercessor, her brightness will come from you know, strengthening her intercessory ministry because her prayers in intercession will be the ones that will also brighten people's white lives as they will receive answers to those prayers and those things that she'll be interceding uh, to the Lord for about those people. And as she does that, uh, the Lord will strengthen her faith in that ministry and it will grow and even her own way will be brightened by so doing so strengthen that ministry and don't make light of it amen amen please pray for her Baba. father in the name of the lord jesus christ we thank you that you are a faithful god and your purposes do not change i just want to pray for my sister and ask that that the grace of god in its fullness released into her life and that the ministry that you have granted her oh god will not oh god be hampered by the enemy in all spheres of intercession release her oh god into the ministry in power in the name of jesus christ we give you glory and praise now and forever amen 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 Amen. I have a word for Uzanele. Uh, this is the message of the Lord, Uzanele. Don't give up on forgiving. Don't get tired on forgiving people who undermine you or look down on you. It's a season you are going through. You are, you are getting trained to endure suffering and expected to not compromise the character of God in whatever you are going through. So whenever people are are pushing you to the point whereby you are so angry that you can't take it. Just know that it's a season that you are going through and you're expected not to compromise the character of God. I also have a word for U Esmeralda. I'm not sure if I'm not I'm pronouncing it correctly. This is what the Lord is saying. When you lift others up, you too also will arise. Thank you. Amen. Could you please pray for both of them? Baba, we come before you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Lord, for Uzanele. Give us strength, Lord, to endure all this suffering and all the persecution that she's just going through. Help her, Lord, not to fail the test in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ for Esmeralda to continue to pray, to lift others up in prayer, to lift others up in supporting and being them for them and encouraging them. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Amen. Baba, Mama, goodness be your hand is noted. You can come in. Okay, thank you, Bubu. Um, greetings, saints, in Jesus' name. Um, I, I had two Amen. words, one is for Mamu Goodness, Sibia, and one is for Uzi Zolen Kazwani. I, I, I hope I, I got the, the two correctly. I'm not going to confuse the two. But I think for, I believe for Mamu Goodness, well, I, I received the word trust. And... Um, it was pressed in my heart in the 80. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion. It shall not be shaken. Uh, another one, another word was lean not in your own understanding, but trust in the Lord. 
uh, I believe that the Lord is saying to my goodness in whatever that she is going through and whatever that she is going to go through, she must learn to trust in the Lord. She's going to receive uh, many advices from people about whatever situation that she's going to uh, go through. But I believe that the Lord is saying, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not in your own understanding. A word for I believe I saw the word healing. I believe that the Lord is saying, in fact, I saw a mental picture of somebody's heart that is very much uh, sore, bleeding, uh, very much hurt. Uh, and I saw a, a, a lady uh, crying, and I believe that it was her that I saw in the vision. And I saw a hand that was holding her. Uh, you know, comforting her. I believe that this, the, there is a season that the Lord is ushering her into a season of healing from uh, past hurts uh, 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 and, you know, brokenness from every, uh, all the seasons that she's been going through of hurt. But the Lord is, um, I believe that the Lord is saying that he is actually at work in Gambiloyake. So I believe that there is a hand of the Lord that is busy holding it. She must not give up the healing. Yeah, I can say if he heal. Uh, th those are the two words that I believe that I received for the two ladies. Uh, let me pray for them as well. Father, in the name that is above all other names, the name of the King and Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray in the name of Jesus, that Lord God Almighty, these words, Lord God Almighty, that you have revealed, let it be done, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We send your angels to fulfill that which you have already shown. Let there be no delay, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. It is done still by the blood of Jesus. Amen. 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 We've got two hands now. Oh goodness, CBC. No Esmeralda Villa no Bebalele Pabu message. We got the message. So now we're going to go to Oh goodness CBC to do her activation. Goodness, please unmute the mic. Not sure if she is still here or oh, we must we may go to I'm, I'm i'm not sure if it is out okay there is good goodness you can unmute thank you
and the last person will be Esmeralda. Um, I am not Greetings. able to pronounce the name. I'm sorry. Amen. Not a Amen. Greetings, saints. I can make that choice. So Esmeralda Vilangu. Um, you can call it as that to, to pronounce my surname. I hope I'm loud and clear. Um, oh, yes. Amen. Thank you. So basically, as we were praying, um, so the word that was laid was grace, that um, my grace is sufficient for you. So as I was scrolling to see to, as to whom it um, applied to, um, it was Sister Zoleka Zohane. Um, so, Kafiga Muti, as he's saying, God, God's grace is sufficient for you. His grace will carry you through even this time. Um, at first, I was like, I'm, I'm not sure what it is about, but as I'm hearing others, I think I get a sense. And yeah, God's grace will carry you through even this time. Please pray for her. Mukayanda Shikha. Mandara Kayanda. Mukayanda. Please not read it, but allow her to say what the Lord is, has laid in her heart for us. Sis Nolizu, you can come in. Hallelujah, Vasilane. Um, it just um, pressed in my spirit that as we proceed with the conference, there are 13 people um, that are going to be released into the prophetic so it is recommended that we don't hide when the opportunities come up where we need to volunteer and participate in the activations please do not hide and these people know themselves so that is just what uh, got laid in my spirit Amen. Amen. Um, can we all unmute and pray, Saints? Thank you. 
Thank you. 